Hi, State Senator Jeff Bridges here with... I'm State Senator Paul Lundin. Today we're chatting with you about how we finance the public education in Colorado. Last time the bill that formed the formula was written in 1994, 25 years ago. I was, I was ago. in high school. Colorado's classrooms look very different back in 94 than they do today. And well, we I was haven't much longer the in the tooth than that, but it's been a heck of a long time. 25 years, so think about this. Right now the formula is about the system. It's about districts, it's about the elements that take care of students. Well, that's good, but that's not great. If we made it about the students, I think that would be better. We need to look at, at the different needs that different students have. We know that it costs something different to educate a kid who is an English language learner than one who has uh, maybe free and reduced lunch. And it's even more to educate a kid who's both of those things. So we need to change our formula to make sure we're giving schools the resources they need to educate the kids they have. Absolutely. Another big miss is special needs kids. They're being left out almost entirely, and districts are trying to figure out how to make that up, but in fact, we need to make it about the students. And once we do that, we have a dynamic model that is the student population changes, the financing to make sure those students are getting what they need stays in place. The other thing we need to think about is how much it costs to educate a kid depending on where they live in the state. We know that a district in rural Colorado has all sorts of different struggles than districts maybe in the in the Denver urban core. So taking into account the various different district uh, features and, and how those affects how much those affects how that affects <laughs> That's correct. Uh, how much uh, uh, it costs to educate those kids. You know we really need to take all this into effect and again in 94 we had a very different population we had a very different finance formula than the one that we need today to make sure we're educating Colorado's kids. Absolutely and here's part of the answer to that or the question in that. Colorado, I think we're a rural state. There's a large population center along the front range but in terms of our culture, our ethos, we're rural in nature and those students who live in those sparse areas the funding formula isn't necessarily providing for them appropriately and teachers. We need to make the formula so that in fact we can attract teachers into the areas where it's hardest in fact to currently attract teachers. A model that does that will support students in a better way as well. We have a huge challenge with teachers who come in and half of all new teachers in Colorado leave within five years. Ah. That's, that's horrendous. A big part of that is pay. Part of that is what we're asking of teachers today. But it, whatever those reasons are, they, they differ, different parts of the state. We need a funding formula that recognizes the realities of what it costs to, to educate those kids, what it costs to get great teachers in a classroom, and how we, we bring these districts together around a plan that's good for all of Colorado's kids. Absolutely. So in summary, my perspective, the formula we have is an antique. It's worse than an antique. It's failing to acknowledge students, which is the center. They are the center of what education should be about. Time to bring it up to date. 25 years old, time for an update. Time for an update.